Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Monday, September 11th, 2023. Fire potential impacts for the next few days are shown here. The main impact we have coming to the Great Basin is some tropical moisture moving across the GAC um, starting today in central Nevada and parts of Utah and then moving further east into southern and southeast Utah on Tuesday and Wednesday. And then we also have a little bit of a dry cold front moving through the north uh, midweek as well. Past 24 hours of precip and lightning is shown here. Uh, we had a pretty active day across portions of the Great Basin yesterday. Uh, heaviest precip was over south, southwest and south central Utah, and we had um, some scattered thunderstorms with the, with that precip. We had light initial attack activity yesterday for four with four fires for 0.4 acres, and it looks like most of those fires or those four fires occurred in Nevada. Observed precipitation for the past 14 days is shown here with inches on the left and percent of normal on the right. We're still feeling the impacts of the precip across Nevada and southern and southwest Utah and even across the southern Snake River Plain. Um, it's been a, a pretty active couple of weeks, but although we have been in a, a, a little drying trend here recently. We've got a couple of dry pockets out there, most notably uh, eastern Utah uh, here in west central Utah. Um, and then parts of the, the Snake River Plain are also on the drier side. Current ERC conditions are all below the 50th percentile, except for a few stations here in eastern Utah. Um, and the stations across the north are on the upward trend as conditions remain dry there. And some of our stations further south are on a downward trend with moisture moving into the area. This morning's satellite imagery shows a broad area of high pressure in place across the Great Basin, keeping temperatures warm um, for the time of year, just se near seasonal or just above seasonal temperatures. We do have a low pressure system beginning to move into the Pacific Northwest. It will bring that dry cooled front into the area and some southerly moisture or tropical moisture that will be moving um, into the Great Basin or continue to be in place over the Great Basin for the next couple of days. So again this afternoon we can see the high pressure ridge in place with moisture moving underneath that ridge for the showers and thunderstorms over Nevada and portions of Utah again today. Um, a closer look at the precipitation, where we're expecting that precipitation. Uh, it's possible across much of central and eastern Nevada and into southwest Utah. Um, generally the same areas that we had those storms yesterday, um, the higher elevations of Utah and, and portions of southeast Utah as well. Minimum relative, relative humidities are shown here on the right. They're, they're not very low really across much of the basin. We do have some drier areas in northwest Nevada and southwest Idaho, uh, but elsewhere across the south, the RHs are up a bit with that moisture. On Tuesday, the moisture moves a little bit further eastward into central and eastern Utah as that low pressure system from the Pacific Northwest begins to move inland. Um, and we'll see uh, slightly cooler temperatures start to move into the north with that generally dry cold front. Uh, the precip again moving a little bit further east into Utah, um, higher elevations of northern Utah and, and showers are possible across much of southern and southeast Utah as well. Maybe some isolated storms further north and across eastern Nevada. Generally light winds are still expected for tomorrow um, across much of the area, we'll see some gusty outflow winds from the storms in Utah. On Wednesday, that low continues to track south and eastward, and we'll see that the center of the low moving into Idaho <clears throat> on Wednesday. So we do expect to see some gusty winds associated with that low across the Snake River Plain. There's a little bit of, uh, again, a cold front here, so temperatures will be coming down a bit, and RHs will be coming up a bit um, with that cold front, but still the winds uh, could result in in um, slightly elevated fire danger conditions there. Um, and then another day of scattered showers and thunderstorms across Utah, eastern Idaho, and Wyoming. So closer look at the probability of precip here. Um, while it is a generally dry cold front, we will see some slight uh, chance of showers and thunderstorms in the central Idaho mountains, higher chance over western Wyoming and the higher elevations of Utah. If we look at the winds here on the right, we can see as that low moves through, the winds will pick up along the Snake River Plain with gusts up to um, 35 miles an hour or so. The three-day precip totals are shown here. Again, mo most of this precip in Utah and Nevada is coming with that tropical moisture underneath the ridge. And then on Wednesday, as that cold front swings through, we'll see um, the increased chance for some showers over the central Idaho mountains. 
On Thursday, we can still see that low dropping further south and east into the eastern portions of the Great Basin. We would expect to see some lingering um, showers associated with that moisture and with that low, especially on the eastern half over the higher elevations. And drier air continues um, to be in place over the western half of the basin. That same pattern generally remains into Friday with that ridge trying to build into the, uh, the Great Basin as that low exits off to the east or kind of remains in place over eastern Great Basin. And then by Saturday it looks like that moisture is finally starting to move off to the east with the drier air spreading throughout the area. And then more of the same into Sunday, so a, a dry, looking like a dry weekend um, for us. And these seven day precip totals are shown here. Um, um, again, most of this is coming in the short term, but as we continue into the Thursday, Friday time frame, we'll see some of that moisture lingering across eastern uh, Utah and up into western Wyoming. The extended forecast for September 18th through the 24th puts a bullseye of warm temperatures across the northern plains, northern Rockies, uh, so we'll see warmer than average temperatures across Idaho, uh, but we're also expecting an above average trend in precipitation for much of the Great Basin. And this concludes today's fire potential briefing. Please check back tomorrow for the latest updates.